Yo guys, welcome back to another great tutorial. Now, I want you to stay here for this one, I really do. The new barriers have so many new features that I don't think you realize that I guarantee you the next eight to nine minutes of your life is really gonna pay off watching this video because you're gonna be able to do so many groundbreaking things, especially in a custom BR map. Please stand by, let me show you this right now. We're gonna go ahead and jump into my Directing Pete's Battle Royale, and I'm actually going to edit it live with you right now and show you all of the cool things you can do. Here we go. So guys, one of the biggest problems with barriers, as you're seeing under my map, it takes up a lot of room and spacing, and you have to be precise. And when you're using builds like this, so I'm using two wood pieces, that's 40 memory right there, not including the barrier. I got a little smarter later on and started using indestructible pieces, but still, it's very restrictive. You're using up memory you shouldn't need to. Your placement has to be precise, and it just causes a lot of problems, right? But you can see here, there is my barrier at the top. Now, when you start a game with this barrier, what kind of sucks too is you can't break the floor underneath with the old barriers. But I'm going to show you how the new barriers are much better. So the old ones are at the bottom. The new one there is at the top left there. So make sure not to use the old one. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is place down a vending machine. And I'm going to put a bunch of props that I would never put in my battle royale for the mere problem that when you're doing custom terrain, if you use rocket launchers, quad launchers, and um, all the airdrops and all these other weapons, they break through the ground. It takes away from the experience. Let me show you exactly what I mean. All right, so what you're noticing here with the quad launcher, I'm able to break through, but you'll notice those barriers are working. They're doing their job. But for whatever reason, the quad launcher can get through the barrier. And it's, it's just not appealing. It makes your map just feel less magical right especially when you're trying to show it off now you'll see there i even in some instances tried to do the indestructible dirt underneath and it kind of worked as you notice there but it doesn't really like if you break too many pieces those indestructible brown uh pieces actually are pretty destructible as you're seeing here so it wasn't really a solution for me now the problem with the old barriers as you're seeing here is that when you break through, which you can, you can see underneath. Now, my first thought on the old barriers was, well, just change it from invisible to something else. But let me show you what happens. So if I go underneath my map again, and I go back here and I change it from invisible to stone, we'll just say stone, I go above, that looks horrible. That's obviously not playable. It takes away the entire map. I mean, just hands down, it's not playable. However, this new barrier actually does the job for us and it does it so well so let me show you how this works all right so we're going to delete one of our barriers our traditional barriers we're going to get rid of it there and we're going to replace it with one of these new barriers that just came out and i'm going to be honest with you guys this is such a game changer i don't think it's going to be hyped up enough once again that's the old one at the bottom make sure you're using the new one at the top here all right that's so important. You want to get the one that looks like this at the top left. This is the brand new barrier. It's a lot better because you have full control. You don't need to place it on anything. It can float in the air. It can be placed um, at different grid axes. You can use grid snap 32. You can use no grid. Uh, we'll get into that in a little later. But what's great right away here is if we place it down right under the map, which we can do by just placing it right there and changing it to our stone, all right, or a thread plate. When we go above, look at that, guys. They already compensated for the fact that you want to maybe place this on a Battle Royale map. So now if we do width and depth, you know, a little bit bigger here, 15-15, uh, I go above. Look at that. Right away, guys, the new barrier is epic. All right, when starting a game here, I'm using the quad launcher again, but now look at, we're getting that thread plate we chose. We can make this the stone if we want. Really depends. Now, if Epic really wanted to listen, they should add dirt as one of the barriers. I really think that would be important, like this brown dirt right there. 
I really do think that adding a brown dirt barrier would make such a huge difference. I really, really would. Epic, are you listening? Um, but this will work for now. I think it's a much better experience than being able to see under my map. But guys, the fun doesn't stop there. Don't stop watching the video just yet because I actually want to show you some crazy new things you can do with this barrier that you could not do with any other barrier. And also, if you guys like the content you see, please like and subscribe to this video. It helps me out so much. You have no idea. All right, guys, if you are someone like me who has the ability to publish your maps, you'll notice with the old barrier device, if you place it underwater and you make it look like this, this is the old barrier right here. The problem when you place it underwater is when you publish your map, Epic looks at it and goes, hey, no thanks, this doesn't work. So I had this really cool Nebula Galaxy under my map for this storyline that I have. But unfortunately, when I publish the map, it doesn't show up on the old map, even when I do barrier height minus five. So there is a problem here, but I wanted to make sure and test it with the new barrier. And you guessed it right, guys. With that new barrier, there's actually a new setting, and I want to show it to you right now. It's pretty dope. With width, depth, and height, okay, you could actually go down even smaller. So we're going to make our depth and width normal, like 40-40, uh, just for this example, but then we're going to look at height. All right, for height, we could do that 0.5 like before, but now we can do 0.05, which, yes, is as thin as a floor, or as as thin as a wall. And I'm gonna cover that in a minute as well. But now, guys, I did test this. It looks identical. Nothing's different here, but there's a big difference. When I publish my map, you actually see the nebula underwater now, which is so dope. All right, last but not least, we're gonna go to this beautifully bugged blue grid island, which should be solved probably by the time you watch this, but we're going to go ahead and place down the new barrier here. And when we place it down, notice you can do things you couldn't do before. You can use drops, right? Basically, you can do anything you could do with a regular building piece. And you've noticed they've been doing this with a lot of the old devices like the player spawn, etc. the checkpoint. Um, they are allowing us now to place them anywhere. Now, look at this, guys. With that new barrier width and that depth going down to 0.05, we can create walls. Now... Let's let's imagine something here. I'm going to go ahead and choose a brick wall, okay? You could do this before, but it, it seems to be more realistic now. So now you're making it thin as a wall. You can go down to more options now, or all options. Go to the bottom. You can enable when receiving from and disable. So I can actually maybe go to channel one. When they complete a quest or find a trigger, it can blow up that wall and let you through the next part of the map, which is pretty dope. Now, granted, it's not working now because we are not uh, playing the game. So you get the idea here, though, guys. I, I just want to get your minds kind of going here. I'm going to show you some other things that you were not able to do with the previous barrier that are going to blow your mind. All right. So here we go. Um, one other thing you can do here that I just want to point out, you can actually make trap floors now, which is pretty dope. So before you would have to make a pretty boxy trap floor or you'd have to make sure that you had an entire level under you in order to pull off trap floor. But now you can actually create just floor pieces that disappear maybe when you want or an, or up here. So imagine you're doing a thing where you want a bridge to build, but you don't want it to build until they access it. You can trigger it to enable when they lower the drawbridge and then it makes the floor appear using barriers. Guys, it's pretty dope. Uh, let me show you what else you can do with barriers. It's pretty cool. So the last thing I want to show you guys here is the ability of putting your barriers on an axis. You can move the axis around, go to Nebula. Basically, you can create your own Kevin cube, even though it's in the game already, right? I am able to create kind of a really cool looking cube. And it's not Kevin, right? It's our own unique cube. We can go ahead and put it on an axis and make it look really dope. Now, guys, there are some really cool things that you can do with this new barrier device. I didn't think you could do this much stuff with the new device. But now that I've shown you all of it, go forth and create. Make some epic stuff with all of the tools that I've just shown you here. Guys, this is incredible. If you like the content that I am creating, please like and subscribe. It helps me out so much. All right, guys, until next time, take care.